ng hapon, magbibis mga bay. Hope you're going well, exceptionally well, on this 3rd of Seppers, 3rd of September. I'm just doing some Comstaka, just doing some improvisation steel work. I haven't got a sheet metal bender, so use, um, use what you got. So I'll just give a little tap with my sledgy. Tap, tap, trying to find a, a 90 degree so I can shore up this uh, bit of an improv at the base of this trailer tandem. So I can, I hey, even found this nice bit of piping. Uh, it was perfect for the trailer. I, can, can put the gas bottles you gotta because you gotta put the gas bottles upright in transit and, and like Big, for the uh, home household uh, LPG uh, yeah LPG all I do is buy the fasteners <laughs> perfect yeah yeah I tried, tried to get it off the ground because it sort of looks like a hurdle and the neighbours' uh, daughters were jumping over it and, and hurting themselves, so it was good to get it out of uh, their temptation. Yeah. We are, oh, they shifted out of this over a year ago now, due to uh, in extenuating circumstance, controversial. Yeah, it was in the local paper. Unfortunately, anyway, oh, well, um, yeah, I'm still gonna carve up that uh, remaining branch, to tidy that up, take all the big branches out. So, when I bring the slasher in from uh, on the tractor, I can, yeah, I got the secondary uh, chainsaw ready, the other one, I uh. Oh, I just, I just give them. Uh, I just, I just fire them up. Uh, like, uh, give each one a, a turn at, at starting up, because just like, just like us, if we sit too dormant for too long, yeah, we, we don't get, we don't get the longevity we're um, supposed to. Yes, yeah, the, the old. Oops, I got the magnifier. Sorry, the, the magnifier, magnification was out again. Yeah, the starting again, just like ourselves, if we don't remain active, yeah, we, as I said at the bowling club, number one catchphrase is uh, use it or lose it. So true. So, just, uh, oh, hello, uh, Chitty Chitty, little... Oh yeah. See if I can zone in on the little birdie. No. That's, uh, out of out of here. Anyway, <clears throat> well, I'll trim this up. Um, po possibly bolt it on the side there. Uh, ideally. Ideally, of course, to to take out the take out the base and then weld weld another sheet on the on the uh, for the flooring. But I was silly enough to lend the the arc arc lead to my neighbour, and uh, yeah, he's been out of action for over a year now because uh, yeah, he uh, tried on the wrong toes, so to speak. He got himself shot in the leg. Anyway, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a calling card, that one. But anyway, the uh, I've got a MIG, an MIG gasless. Uh, just found it when I was uh, cleaning out the garage. 
it's uh, it'd probably be the I was told it it welds deep enough so that's um it sounds uh, like the goat but in the meantime I'll, I'll just improvise with a bit of this uh, uh, strengthening and uh, put the rubber matting on top and uh, and that'll have to do for the meantime got a mate that wants me to shift a couple of chairs down the fellow I the fellow I stood up for in court, uh, yeah, top fella, Alan Saxon, is a, a neighbour neighbor of mine, a new neighbour. Uh, word of mouth, um, heard that I do, uh, I do a good job in fire breaks with the tractor. So, uh, yeah, um, was that uh, 2014? I... Uh, uh, 2014 I was um, assigned to his property through word of mouth uh, take the earplug out <laughs> and uh, yeah I was uh, um, yeah I did the property uh, I, I don't just do the standard fire break I, I did his whole property and that took like, up to three days I think it was uh, this is back in 2014 and uh yeah the uh the corrupt uh uh well i'll say that sure uh bloody jinjin they uh tried to uh, fraudulently fine him he went to a preliminary hearing uh they were accusing me of uh setting it up uh due to my they were calling it employment but it was a, it was a contract uh, as a tip manager because uh, you know disgruntled past inverted commas employee I set it up and they, they were just grasping at straws because they had no legal uh, they, they knew they were going to lose the case in other words so how, how it unfolded was they uh, were trying to blame me for uh, their incompetence their fraudulent you know, negligible incompetence. Um, yeah, they were, they were trying to make my, um, my, my, my now friend, uh, they're trying to make out like he, uh, uh, the, his property wasn't um, properly main, um, serviced, um, maintained the uh, fire break, uh, 2.5 metres, uh, I usually do two more metres than that, but most properties I do the whole lot. His wasn't easy because uh, the past owner had used, it at, used the, the property as a sand dumping site. So it was like uh, a scene out of the movie Toy, you know, it was like <laughs> with Robin Williams going up and down on the hills. It was like that, a bit dangerous, but anyway, uh, yeah, they... Uh, uh, getting lost in the dramas uh yeah they they trying to make out like i was uh that i fabricated it and i just uh to get back at them this is wrong i'll just check their magnification oh that's good uh yeah i'm still rolling <laughs> uh yeah it's good for my good for my therapy so to speak <laughs> yeah, share share but yeah they uh yeah they were saying the um, that the property, uh, the photographic evidence by their uh, client, the, the lawyer, this slimy lawyer at the Midland uh, courts, he was trying to make out like, uh, um, yeah, um, what was it? Uh, he was saying, uh, oh, here come my, my clients. Um, no, sorry about the wind. But, uh, yeah. How come my client's photograph contradicts yours? And Alan just advised me to to uh, play stupid and just give him as much rope as they demanded. So I just said, oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just said, oh, I don't know. Uh, 
and then uh, what was it? Uh, I said, "Oh, you'll be coming back here," and I said, "Yeah, I have no qualms about it whatsoever." Um, what was it? Uh, yeah, so so their ranger, their photographs was showing a, a property that was uh, untouched, so the grass was pretty high, whilst uh, my photograph was just flat, yeah, properly mowed, um, less than 50 mil height is the standard from the from the ground, yeah, properly mowed, and uh, so uh, uh, yeah, they were um, uh, yeah. They'll try and they'll try and defamation of character and you know just saying some really derogatory comments about my late father and yeah you know, real real, real uh, slimy stuff. They even had the court screws around around me, huddling around me, trying to ev uh, evoke me into a uh, in, 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 you know, an emotional state. <laughs> I have to try a bit harder than that. Uh, but it wasn't me they should be worried about. <laughs> it's my client. My client's the one that's uh, uh, decorated military service, specialist sniper, <laughs> and he's and he's ex-military police. He's like six foot four, and five. They're idiots. But anyway, um, yeah. So they were uh, trying to go that angle. Um, I wanted to elaborate that. The difference between their photograph and my photograph is that uh, usually my clients living further afield, so as a matter of convenience, I take a photo and send it. So, uh, uh, so in effect, uh, it's a bit hard to fabricate an, a double MS or a picture text. You know that uh, you know the whole trying to uh, um, uh, insinuate that uh, you know I fabricated the photo, but hang on, it, it's gone through an atomic clock and a billion-dollar computer, Telstra, you know, well, several little checkpoints, and it was well within the the given time of the fire break uh, uh, the hat that. Uh, has to be in by a certain date um yeah so yeah if they would have pressed on i just would have uh, had to reveal that but uh yeah though yeah uh, bullies i don't like them they they really get my goat uh bullies corporate or otherwise just the scum of the earth really but uh yeah um uh, so I just, uh, yeah, quite happy to stand up to anyone, really. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll make you famous. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that was uh, a few years ago now, and they were trying to they were trying to hush me and all that sort of stuff. And I said, no, nah, get stuff. You push me, shove you, caper. Yeah, so. Uh, so, um, Alan uh, was quite in his ability to see them. So I just, yeah, I just step back and, you know, it's your, it's your uh, yarn. But, yeah, the air yeah, pathetic how, even the bird agrees, <laughs> pathetic how some people act. Yeah, pathetic. Anyway, I'll stop the procrastination. I'm pretty good at that. And i uh, go back to forming this deal. Uh, found a good company that makes the bending apparatus and that, but I, I think I could make one. But in the meantime, that's only just a single job. So I improvise, here we go. Oh, that's my... Um, yarn for the for the day <laughs> oh um I, I, I hope you're having a, a good one on this uh lovely saturday uh 
Y en el caso, Ingapó, que salían.